God bless you, viewers. Welcome to today's Open Heaven Reflections, written by Pastor E. A. Adeboye. My name is Pastor Philip Oyetunji of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, the King's Parish, War Times Two. Today's topic is overcoming the enemy. Overcoming the enemy. Bible passage is taken from Psalms 20, verse 1 to 9. May the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. May the name of the God of Jacob defend you. May he send you help from the sanctuary and strengthen you out of Zion. May he remember all your offerings and accept your bond sacrifice. May he grant you according to your heart desires and fulfill all your purpose. We will rejoice in your salvation and in the name of our God, we set up our banners. May the Lord fulfill all your petitions. Now I know that the Lord saves the anointed. He will answer him from his holy heavens with the saving strength of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. They are bowed down and fallen, but we have risen and stand upright. Save Lord, may the King answer us when we call. Amen. Our memory verse is taken from Psalms 20, verse 7. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. We will remember the name of the Lord our God. Our reflections. I remember when I was young, I used to be very uncomfortable when Christians pray and rebuke the devil. I thought it was unfair to do so. As it is said, it is better to allow a sleeping dog to lie. Unfortunately, I did not know the scriptures that says that we should not be ignorant of the devices of the devil, lest it takes advantage of us. 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. We are constantly in a state of war. The Bible says that the devil is going about like a roaring lion seeking who to devour. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8. The Open Heavens ref daily reflections of today identify some of the things we need to be overcomers. We need the Word of God. It was the Word of God that Jesus used to overcome the devil. Unfortunately, it was the wrong understanding of the Word of God that made men to fall. Uh, for example, Adam. We need a thorough understanding of the Word of God and the right application of the Word. The Bible says that we should study to show ourselves a proof of God, a workman that needs not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. The other weapon we need to overcome the wise of the devil is the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Remember to cover your plans with the blood of Jesus and ensure that you are constantly in prayers to save God your life, your ministry, your family, and your future. It represents serious ignorance to die the devil with your own strength. You need to hide yourself under the cover of the Word of God and the blood of Jesus. Do not take anything for granted. The devil is not a careless person. He knows his devices and he is full of them. Who you call upon during your time of crisis is the person that you put your trust in. Who is your trusted ally? Our action point. It is nef never old-fashioned to use the name and blood of Jesus as they never expire. I pray that the name and the blood of Jesus will work for you as you begin to save God your life with these wonderful weapons to overcome the enemy. God bless you. See you next time.